solve a problem. The other night in the uh, Homestead Honey Hour, oh, morning, sorry, coffee. it is Saturday morning. I really should put that down. Sorry. Uh, the other night on the Homestead Honey Hour, I was manning the chat room along with uh, the Mrs. Volfi Bev, and Cat's Cradle and Bear Prepper were on the air. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, one of my regular subscribers, as well as a regular in the chat room every Thursday night, Shauna loves to cook. She happened to mention in the chat that she wanted to start canning, but she didn't have a rack. So was there? She said, aside from buying a rack, unless there was some redneck way to fix that problem, she wasn't going to start canning anytime soon. Well, I told her that there was a way that it could be done. So. I'm going to fix her problem today and I'm going to, I thought I'd better do a video and show her how to do this. So just to give you an idea, this is my Ball Elite 21 quart stainless steel canner with rack. Okay, so I did not start off with one of these. I worked up to this and last year I was able to purchase this for myself um, because I was fortunate enough to have a little extra money. Now this is not something cheap and there's all the dogs, there's Samantha. And Tally, and they're all watching us. See, she wants to get mm -hmm. up on the table because she thinks she's swift. Okay, yeah. anyway, this is the canning rack. You have to have a canning rack when you're canning. And the main reason is because you never want your jars to touch the bottom of the pot because you risk having your jars crack and break. And if you're going to all the effort to put up your own canned goods, you don't want these things to break in the pot mm -hmm. because it totally negates everything you're trying to do. So, this, even though this little, this tiny little bit of separation from that in the bottom of the pot, it gives good air circulation so that you will get a good seal. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you that you do not need to, you know, even if you're on a budget, this thing can run 20 to $25. Even a cheap one is about 10. Okay. And, and I'm telling you, the other ones, the, the ones that come with the enamel pots, whoa, you all right, babe? Yeah. Okay. The ones that come with the enamel pots, they last about a year. They get all corroded, mm -hmm. and um, and they're garbage, actually. So I wouldn't even waste my money on them. But most of us who have purchased a full cookware set got um, a stock pot. This is an eight-quart stock pot, okay? Mine came with a pasta insert, which I hardly ever use. I actually use it to blanch things with when I'm canning. It's really good for that. But this eight quart stock pot is an excellent starter canner, but you don't have a rack in the bottom. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, I'm just gonna show you that you can do pints. There's a wide mouth pint, there's a jelly jar, and there's a regular mouth pint. You can do this because you have to have at least an inch of water above and you'll be fine. I would not recommend doing quarts in here. You will not have enough head room for the amount of water you need on the top. So, I know that even if you've just started canning, you may not have a collection of these, but if you have some neighbors or you've been to a yard sale, or you can even, you're not looking at them, you can even buy a box of rings and uh, lids and bands and is relatively inexpensive and there comes 12 to a box and you don't need all 12. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in the bottom here. Like that. And then this is going to help you. Oh, there's my jelly jar. Keep your jars up off the bottom of the, of the pot. Now, if you want to take this a step further and have a more permanent solution, what am I going to do? I hate zip ties because I can, I'm, I'm zip tie challenged. I really am. See, I even got it wrong. I'm always trying to feed them backwards. Okay. So let's build a canning This rack. is what your zip tied ring canning rack is going to look like when you're all finished with it. One thing I will say is do not, like I said before, do not tighten these too much. And then also you'll want to make sure that these little aglet thingies, I always 
everything that is a thing like that, I always call an aglet. I know what an aglet is, but you know. Um, do you keep, know what an aglet is? Keep them as loose as possible. Keep it as loose as possible because these will have a little bit of play and then when they're in that water, it's gonna be boiling. So you don't want them, you know, to constrict too much. But there you go. And it fits right in the bottom of your pot. Now, my pot takes seven rings. Your pot may be larger and it may take more. If I were going to make a rack for this canner over here, it'd probably take 12 rings, and i probably have to do two rings worth and then a center ring. So you just never know what you're going to need. But your pot will tell you how many rings it needs, because that's all that's going to fit in the bottom. So. And that'd be how many jars you need in your too. That's how you do it. I hope this solves a problem for you, Shauna, and I hope you give it a try. Like I said, go to the dollar store, get you some of these little zip ties, Get yourself an extra box of rings and lids and use those rings to make yourself a canning rack that you'll be able to use this season, maybe next season, but always make sure you dry them off real good because they are probably going to rust a little bit over time. So I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see you.